Mr. Lega. The front. On the way down, please. Much more. Thank you, Madam President, Commissioner Varey, dear colleagues. Last year, EU finally opened the accession talks with Albania, which constitutes one step towards EU membership and a new phase in the EU-Albania relations. Becoming a member of the EU is not and should not be a quick or an easy process. The road towards EU membership is one of requirements aimed at guaranteeing democratization, modernization, the rule of law, stability and growth in each and every state aspiring for EU membership. And it's vital that the pace of accession should be determined by the reform progress. Regarding Albania, I will highlight a couple of issues I think are crucial. Firstly, we must commend Albania's consistent and full alignment with the EU's foreign policy, including its response to the Russian war of aggression against Ukraine. However, when it comes to the situation inside the country, many reforms are still needed. One issue of concern is the deteriorating situation of the freedom of expression and media freedom. The trend is incompatible with EU integration. Democracy requires freedom to speak and scrutinize and a lively opposition. This cannot be stressed enough. And the violence against journalists must stop. The attempts to discredit reporters must stop. And finally, the draft anti-defamation legislation is unacceptable. The Albanian government has an extensive homework to do. I hope that it will advance the EU reform agenda in cooperation with the opposition and with all segments of society. Thank you. Thank you very much. On behalf of the group of the Progressive Alliance of Socialists and Democrats in the European Parliament, Mrs. Bielowski. The floor is yours. Vielen Dank, Frau Präsidentin. Vor zwei Monaten besuchte der österreichische Bundespräsident Tirana und betonte, Albanien gehört längst zur europäischen Familie. Nächste Woche werde ich mit einer Delegation nach Tirana reisen und werde mit Überzeugung dasselbe sagen. Der Fortschrittsbericht zeigt ganz deutlich, Albanien hat in den wichtigen Bereichen Justiz, Verwaltung, auch im Kampf gegen die organisierte Kriminalität große Fortschritte gemacht. Auch die Leistungen zur Justizreform als Herzstück des Integrationsprozesses müssen besonders hervorgehoben werden und der Beitrittsweg Albaniens ist das Ergebnis von konsequenter gemeinsamer Arbeit, auch konsequenter Umsetzung und ja, es gibt noch Reformen umzusetzen, es gibt auch noch Schritte zu gehen, aber auch diese werden wir gemeinsam beschreiten und die Europäische Union als glaubhafte Akteurin, als verlässliche Partnerin wird auch ihre Versprechen einhalten gegenüber den Bürgerinnen und Bürgern Albaniens und besonders auch gegenüber der jungen Generation, die so viel Hoffnung in den EU-Beitritt legt. Für sie ist Europa die Zukunft und die europäische Zukunft beinhaltet auch Albanien. Thank you very much. Now, on behalf of the Renew Europe Group, colleague Mr. Kuchuk, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam President, dear Commissioner, dear colleagues. Albania has come a long way on its European path and uh, with continued determination uh, to resolve uh, undoubtedly uh, difficult, difficult issues. Over the past years, the country has demonstrated steadfast, unwavering and strategic commitment to European uh, Union integration. Its dedication reflects the consensus among political parties and garners overwhelming support among uh, its citizens. The country has constantly emphasized the importance of good neighbor relations and regional cooperation, understanding that unity is the key to achieve progress and prosperity. This commitment to fostering uh, harmonious relationships sets an exemplary model for the entire region. Furthermore, Albania's uh, consistent and full alignment with the EU's foreign and security policy is commendable. The country's uh, resolute efforts to align its interests with those of the European Union demonstrate a profound understanding of the benefits of collaboration and shared values. The country has maintained a focused approach on EU-related reforms. Of course, of course, there is still work to be done. It is imperative to intensify efforts aimed and improving the functioning of the rule of law and judiciary. And the uh, European Parliament should stand ready to support the country on this journey. Thank you so much. 
and we thank you. Thank you very much. On behalf of the group of the Greens, European Free Alliance colleague, Mr. Waltz, the floor is yours. Madam President, uh, Commissioner, yes, Albania is a success story, clearly. The vetting process and the juridical reforms have not been seen in this dimension on the Balkans. Uh, the full alignment with foreign uh, policy and security policy was mentioned by many colleagues already. But I think Albania has a crucial role to play also in stabilizing the region. Albania is a stable factor of the region, which is something we cannot say of too many countries of the Western Balkans. Albania has shown real will to reform towards a European Union accession. They have shown that they take the process serious that has finally started a bit more than a year ago after a long time of us keeping them waiting. And yes, Albania still has a lot also reforms to do and Im implement a lot of legal legislation, European legislation. There's still, the, the report is pointing out on some weaknesses that we still see, on segregation of parts of the minorities, on media freedom and, you know, fighting disinformation and cutting media freedom is a thin line, so one should not be used to do the other. We still see a lot of lack of implementation of laws that are already legally uh, viable, but not yet really implemented on the ground. When it comes to domestic violence, when it comes to protection of children, when it comes to also the fight against organized crime, still there is quite something to deliver. But last but not least, I want to highlight the progress and the positive signals that we see on the environmental side, on the protection of Vyosa River, even though on the waste management side, it will still need quite some ambition, but we should help with that. With this, a big thank you to our negotiators, to the rapporteur for the very constructive work and also for the good cooperation in this country with the commission and uh, the parliament here and the member states. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. On behalf of the European Conservatives and Reformist Group, Mr. Jambaski, the floor is yours. Благодаря ви, уважаеми госпожо председателстваш, уважаеми колеги, уважаеми комисарио, истинско щастие да видим сред нас. Често нашата приятелска държава Албания се разглежда в пакет Северна Македония и страната често е жертва на липсата на прогрес в нейната източна съседка, а тази липса на прогрес се държи, разбира се, на нежеланието на властите в Скопие да изпълнат защитата по човешките права, но това е друга тема. Когато това се е случило, винаги сме посочвали, че общото разглеждане на двете кандидатури е несправедливо. Въпреки това, Албания трябва да продължи реформите в областта на основните права, върховството на закона и правосъдието, за да постигне бърз напредък по пътя си към Европейския съюз. Плановете за фискална амнистия, които биха позволили 2 милиона евро да бъдат депозирани в Албанска банкова сметка, без да бъде разкривен происход на средствата, дават основания за тревога. Албания може и трябва да докаже, че не може да бъде подозирана за център на някакви сиви сделки в Европа и Албания. И Тирана трябва ясно да покаже, че е решена да се справи с този проблем и не позволява, че за въпроси на нови политики страната да бъде параван за незаконна дейност. Само бързи реформи и решителни стъпки в борбата с корупцията и организираната престъпност ще доведат до бързо завършване на преговорния процес. Посоката на признаването на правата и законните интереси на младсинствата в Албания, включително българското такова, е правилна и заслужава подозрения. Край на деня Албания заслужава да бъде член на Европейския съюз, тъй като завърши своето домашно, тъй като подкрепя общоевропейските политики и тъй като в край на крайшата споделя това, което дори човек като мен разбира като европейски ценности. Така че на добър час на Албания преговори с Европейския съюз. Благодаря ви. Thank you, Chair. Grazie, Presidente. L'Unione Europea e l'Albania hanno un destino comune e oggi riaffermiamo la volontà di integrazione di uno Stato amico e alleato. Ma voglio cogliere questa occasione per sottolineare il contributo dell'Albania alla pace e alla stabilità internazionale, alla salvaguardia dello Stato di diritto tra le nazioni, alla salvaguardia del multilateralismo. Attraverso il suo abile ambasciatore alle Nazioni Unite, in questi due anni di presenza nel Consiglio di Sicurezza, ha affrontato nel più alto consesso del multilateralismo rivalità geopolitiche sempre più accentuate e instabili. L'Albania ha dimostrato come un piccolo Paese possa influenzare 
molto al di sopra del suo peso ed essere in prima linea sulle questioni che contano, contribuendo efficacemente a mantenere la bussola morale che la Russia ha perso ormai da tempo. Il suo contributo alla Nato è per noi sempre più prezioso. L'importanza di questo volto più moderno dell'Albania è utile prima di tutto agli amici albanesi per costruire partenariati più forti e nuovi, meccanismi di cooperazione nella regione dei Balcani, in Europa e nel mondo. L'Europa ha bisogno dei Balcani e i Balcani hanno bisogno dell'Europa. L'Italia ha nella sua fratellanza storica con l'Albania il compito di sostenere sempre di più il processo virtuoso di due paesi che condividono un mare. Grazie a lei, Commissario Vareli, e grazie alla relatrice Santos per il lavoro che fate e che farete. Thank you very much. Next speaker, colleague, Mr. Castaldo. Thank you, Madam Chair, Commissioner, dear colleagues. In 2022, after regrettable delays, we finally have reached a significant milestone with the official start of the accession talks and acknowledgement of the remarkable progress Albania has made in advancing the EU reform agenda. Tirana has consistently demonstrated unwavering commitment to the EU integration, both in the political and the public domain. I commend the report for acknowledging this dedication while also highlighting areas that require further attention and efforts, particularly the fight against corruption and the media freedom. Dear colleagues, recent events, especially the criminal aggression in Ukraine, have emphasized once again an obvious truth. Strength lies in unity. Now more than ever, the completion of the EU enlargement in the Western Balkans has become a strategic priority for the future of our Union. It's not by chance that the candidate countries, including Albania, have been particularly targeted by Russian disinformation and hybrid attacks. We have demonstrated in practice, and not just in words, our resolute commitment to, to enlargement, avoiding further factious delays that undermine our credibility and frustrate our partners. Although significant work remains to be done, Albania is undoubtedly on the right track. I urge them to keep delivering on the necessary reforms for a scene and our union, especially in the member states, to recognize and reward the, their efforts in the critical years of negotiation ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, colleague, Mr. Kefalayanis. The floor is yours. Dear and dear friends, Πέρα από κάθε αμφιβολία, η θέση της Αλβανίας είναι στο σκληρό πυρήνα της ευρωπαϊκής οικογένειας. Όμως από το βήμα του Ευρωπαϊκού Κοινοβουλίου θέλω να εκφράσω τη βαθιά μου ανησυχία για τη σύλληψη του εκλεγέντα Δημάρχου Χιμάρας, Φρέντι Μπελέρη, τις παραμονές των δημοτικών εκλογών στην Αλβανία και τη συνεχιζόμενη προφυλάκησή του, που παραβιάζει το τεκμήριο της αθωότητας και απαγορεύει σε αυτό να αναλάβει τα καθήκοντά του ως εκλεγμένος δήμαρχος. Επίσης θέλω να τονίσω ότι το συγκεκριμένο θέμα είναι συνδεδεμένο απόλυτα με το σεβασμό των θεμελιωδών δικαιωμάτων, με το περιουσιακό ζήτημα της ελληνικής μειονότητας στο Δήμο της Χιμάρας και με τις κατηγορίες για παράνομες απολωτριώσεις από τις αλβανικές αρχές. Η υπόθεση Φρέντι Μπελέρη αποτελεί χτύπημα στο κράτος δικαίου και στην προσπάθεια που κάνει η Αλβανία να συμμορφωθεί με το ευρωπαϊκό κεκτημένο. Περιμένουμε την άμεση απελευθέρωση του μοναδικού μειονοτικού δημάρχου της Χιμάρας, του δημάρχου Φρέντι Μπελέρη. Ευχαριστώ για την προσοχή σας. Thank you very much. Uh, next speaker, colleague, Mr. Schlide. The floor is yours. Albanien steht besser da, als es noch vor einigen Jahren da gestanden ist. Und da muss man gar nicht das Albanien von heute vergleichen mit dem Albanien, uh, das ich vorgefunden habe, als ich in den 90er Jahren das erste Mal auch dort gewesen bin. Im letzten Jahrzehnt sind irrsinnig viele Reformen in dem Land passiert, umgesetzt worden, angestoßen worden, sowohl von der 
Bürokratiereform, Rechtsstaatsreform, Justizreform, Kampf gegen Korruption, aber auch im Kleinen, wie zum Beispiel die Stadt Tirana, die einfach stadtentwicklungsmäßig eine Stadt ist, die sehr viel auch an Lebensqualität durch ganz konkrete Maßnahmen gewonnen hat. Und wenn man das so sagt, dann ist natürlich die Frage, ist alles im Guten? Nein. In Albanien müssen noch viele weitere Reformen kommen. Die ökologische Frage, die Klimafrage, die Nachhaltigkeitsfrage spielen noch große Themen, genauso wie auch Arbeitsrecht und Gewerkschaften. Aber eins muss man sagen, es zeigt sich, dass die Zusammenarbeit mit Albanien, gerade im Zusammenhang mit der Erweiterung, dort wichtige Reformen professionell und gut voranbringt. Thank you very much. Our next speaker, colleague, Mr. Botos. The floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. Estimați colegi, Albania tinde spre un regim politic stabil și este o democrație europeană. Există încă probleme care trebuie abordate și îmbunătățit, care trebuie făcute, dar este clar că țara s-a angajat să devină o democrație puternică. Sigur că este nevoie de o mai mare deschidere a procesului electoral pentru a permite accesul partidelor politice mici la luarea deciziilor. În felul acesta, cetățenii țării vor fi încurajați să se implice, să-și aducă contribuția la modernizarea Albaniei. Este nevoie și de o presă liberă care să poată semnala devierile de la valorile democratice fără să se teamă de consecințe. Toate acestea însă nu sunt de natură să ne împiedice să recunoaștem că este momentul ca Albania să fie membra Uniunii Europene. Trebuie să depășim momentul în care parcă Uniunea Europeană este înghețată de temerile partidelor extremiste care resping orice deschidere și orice nouă adeziune. Am început un proces de aderare pe care ambele părți trebuie să respecte și cred cu tărie că este timpul ca Albania să fie parte din marea noastră familie a Uniunii Europene. Thank you very much. Next speaker, colleague, Mr. Frangos. Σας ευχαριστώ πολύ κυρία Πρόεδρε. Από αρχαιοτά των χρόνων η Βόρεια Ήπειρος είναι γη ελληνική. Η Χιμάρα, παρά τις ελληνοφοβικές επιθέσεις της Αλβανίας, είναι μέρος της Βορείας Ήπειρου. Το έγκλημα του Φρέντι Μπελέρη ήταν ότι απέδειξε το αυταπόδεικτο, ότι και η Χιμάρα είναι γη ελληνική. Το πρωτόκολλο της Κέρκυρας δεν ίσχυσε ποτέ. Δεν ακυρώθηκε και ποτέ όμως. Άρα η Αλβανία οφείλει να, φέλε, να φέρεται στην ελληνική εθνική μειονότητα Βορεία Υπήρου με σεβασμό. Α το καταλάβουν κάποιοι καλά, ο δρόμο τη Αλβανία προ την Ευρώπη περνά από την Κοριτσά, από του Αγίου Σαράντα και από την Χιμάρα. Εμεί ακούμε του βορειοπυρώτε μα και λέμε: Όχι η Αλβανία στην Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση. Μέχρι να απελευθερωθεί ο Φρέντι Μπελέρη, δεν πρέπει καν να σκέφτονται την Ευρώπη. Μέχρι να αναλάβει πλήρω καθήκοντα Δημάρχου. Καλούμε την Ευρώπη να επιβάλλει αυστηρότατε οικονομικέ κυρώσει στην Αλβανία, διότι αυτή τη στιγμή βρίσκεται πιο κοντά στην Τουρκία παρά στην Ευρώπη. Σα ευχαριστώ. Thank you very much. Uh, next speaker, Madame Bilde, s'il vous plaît. Merci, Madame la Présidente, Monsieur le Commissaire. Ce rapport sur l'Albanie est lu d'une incohérence évidente. Ce pays frappe donc aux portes de l'Union européenne contre espèces sonnantes et trébuchantes puisque 758 millions d'euros lui ont été alloués entre 2014 et 2020 au seul titre de l'instrument d'aide à la préadhésion. Pourtant, entre 2010 et 2019, plus de 193 000 Albanais ont demandé l'asile dans l'Union européenne pour des motifs qui faisaient particulièrement froid dans le dos, de la vendetta au trafic humain, afin d'être considérés comme réfugiés. L'année dernière, les mêmes Albanais grossissaient les rangs des embarcations de fortune traversant la Manche avant que Risti Sunak n'y mette bon ordre. Est cela le niveau d'un futur État membre J'ajoute qu'avec un salaire minimum tournant autour de 360 euros, l'Albanie représente une concurrence féroce, par exemple dans le secteur de l'habillement. Et ce, à l'heure où la Commission prétend dérouler pour cette filière une stratégie de durabilité et qu'une production locale renaît timidement de ses cendres dans ma région Lorraine, en France. Je suis donc farouchement opposée à tout élargissement qui serait une aberration économique et civilisationnelle. Je vous remercie.
Merci. Next speaker, colleague, Señor Sarsalejos, por favor. Gracias, señora presidenta. Comisario, creo que tenemos que expresar nuestra satisfacción por los avances que se han registrado en Albania para eh, acercar esa perspectiva europea y su, eh, finalmente su incorporación a la Unión como desean los albaneses. Pero sabemos que este proceso exige eh, esfuerzos, exige compromisos firmes y no podemos ocultar que existen también grandes déficits en lo que se refiere a organización institucional, Estado de Derecho, legislación electoral, policía, justicia, libertades de expresión y de manifestación. Estos déficits parece que se han hecho visibles en una reciente operación policial contra el principal grupo de oposición iraní en el exilio, asentado en Albania, después de un acuerdo negociado con las autoridades albanesas. Una operación masiva de utilización injustificada de fuerza y no se trata de eh, eximir a nadie del cumplimiento de la ley, porque una cosa es hacer cumplir la ley y otra muy distinta es regalar un éxito político al régimen brutalmente represor de Irán. Y creo que, lamentablemente, esto último es lo que ha ocurrido. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Next speaker, uh, colleague, Mr. Papandreou. The floor is yours. Madame President, dear colleagues, I speak in Greek. Κυρίες και κύριοι συνάδελφοι, προσφάτως είχα την τύχη να επισκεφθώ την Αλβανία ως μέλος της ομάδας επιτηρήσης των δημοτικών εκλογών. Ναι, ήταν ομελή η διαδικασία. Ναι, συμφωνώ με αυτά που είπε ο Επίτροπος και η κυρία Σάντος. Έχει προχωρήσει η Αλβανία, αλλά σε κάτι έχει μείνει πάρα πολύ πίσω. Δεν μπορεί δύο ημέρες πριν τις εθνικές εκλογές να βάζει σε φυλακή μια σειρά από δημάρχους και μεταξύ άλλων το πολύ ευαίσθητο για μας ε, δήμαρχο των χυμά, της Χιμάρας, το Φρέντι Μπελέρι. Εκλέχτηκε τελικά μέσα από τις φυλακές. Ζητάμε την αποφυλάκησή της του. Εάν θέλει η Ελβανία να, να έχει τη στήριξη Ελλάδος και όλων μας, στην προσπάθεια να φτάσει στην Ευρώπη το 20 και 30 και το ευχόμαστε, το θέλουμε, θέλουμε όλα τα δυτικά Βαλκάνια να μπουν κάποια στιγμή, πρέπει όσο το συντομότερο να τηρήσει τους κανόνες του κράτους δικαίου, να εφαρμόσει τα κεφάλαια 23 και 24 και τότε θα έχει και το χειροκρότημά μας. Ευχαριστώ. Thank you very much. Uh, next speaker, colleague, uh, Mr. Kirchus. The floor is yours. Ευχαριστώ. Πρέπει να σας πω ότι δεν μοιράζομαι την αισιοδοξία των περισσότερων συναδέλφων. Κατά την άποψή μου, το μεγαλύτερο εμπόδιο στην ένταξη της Αλβανίας, όπως και άλλων χωρών των Δυτικών Βαλκανίων στην Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση, είναι η δημιουργία προσωποπαγών καθεστώτων που ελέγχουν ασφιχτικά το δημόσιο βίο. Οράμα που θυμίζει Βούτσιτς στην εσωτερική πολιτική, ευτυχώς όχι στην εξωτερική, ελέγχει τα ΜΜΕ, επιθυμεί έλεγχο στη δικαιοσύνη αντικαθιστώντας τον έλεγχο που είχε ο Μπερίσα, χειρίζεται θέματα της ελληνικής μειονότητας όπως του Μπελέρη χωρίς σεβασμό στα δικαιώματά της, έχει δημιουργήσει μια συμμαχία συμφερόντων που ελέγχει την οικονομία της χώρας, ανέχεται το ρόλο του, ναι, του οργανωμένου εγκλήματος. Η Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση δεν πρέπει να συμβιβαστεί με αυτές τις πρακτικές, ορισμένες από τις οποίες κερδίζουν έδαφος και σε κράτη-μέλη. Με προβληματίζει, για παράδειγμα, ότι η αιτήσια έκθεση των ρεπόρτερ χωρίς σύνορα αξιολογεί το επίπεδο της ελευθερίας των μέσων ενημέρωση στην Ελλάδα λίγο χειρότερα από το πολύ χαμηλό της Αλβανίας. Συμφωνώ, η διεύρυνση είναι αναγκαία από στρατηγική άποψη, αλλά περνά υποχρεωτικά από εκδημοκρατισμό και σεβασμό του κράτους δικαίου. Χωρίς εκπτώσεις. Ευχαριστώ. Thank you very much. Now I have one speaker on the KGDI list, and I would like to give the floor to Mr. Wallace. The floor is yours. Yes. So you'd be disappointed if I didn't, wouldn't you, Commissioner? <laughs> there is a, a, a paternalistic logic uh, underpinning accession to the EU. Supposedly, primitive countries must catch up to the more advanced Western European countries and incorporate EU values. These Commission reports talk about a fantasy world 
where Western interference is erased. Corruption, abysmal social safety nets, crumbling infrastructure and inequality, inequality of outcome must be addressed. But let's not talk about the string of leaders vetted by the West who allowed the market to rip through Albania's most valuable assets, who scrapped laws that protected workers' rights and social security programs, who prioritized the foreign direct investment that crushed local industry and facilitated what could only be called the theft of state properties that went to Western investors for a pittance. The drive towards accession in the aftermath of the pillage drives politics in Albania in just one direction. There is no vision, there is endless vague talk of corruption, while no one addresses the plight of the people or wealth redistribution. Dissatisfaction and protests are growing. Thank you very much. And I would like to invite again Commissioner Warahele for the 